barefoot in their stocking feet running. And it's been going on for years and years. It's, that's the only entertainment we had. This is Sam Love Queen, of whom people in Haywood County spin legends. It said Sam's grandmother taught him to dance as soon as he could stand alone. The people that he had dancing all used or danced about the same style. They didn't have taps and it was more a quieter footwork, what we call now soft soled shoe dance, I guess. Sam Queen was 45 when he guided his dancers to the first ever National Square Dance Championship in 1934. And he was in his 50s when President Franklin Roosevelt invited the group to perform at the White House before King George VI and Queen Elizabeth of England. As long as he could dance, Sam Queen and his Soko Gap dancers continued to take mountain heritage to the nation. When Folk Moot USA launched the first of its kind international folk festival in this country, inviting 10 groups from all over the world to come share their dance and culture with the people of the Southern Appalachians, there never really was a doubt in the mind of founder Clinton Border as to which dance group should open the historic premiere performance. Six of the members of Sam's original team, plus some of the relatives from that historic team, joined in the commemorative appearance. No taps, no costumes, no choreography, just personal expression in time with music. The formation of a big ring is a traditional beginning to a mountain dance that so handshakes may be exchanged. It's the way everyone attending these mountain dances got acquainted. Here, it, it was quite different because all of us had grown in age, you know, and some of us are getting kind of stiff and some of us not so stiff, so it's a little different situation to what it was the first when we did competition way back there, you know, but uh, I had practically the same group. I've been dancing all my life. I danced for years for Sam Queen, and he's probably the father of our type dancing. He probably perfected it, made it an art. So I guess really Sam would be the one that it really influenced my life a lot in clogging and square dancing. You don't, you don't realize how much you can influence someone or how much they will be influenced by your actions, maybe for 30, 40 years. Uh, Sam influenced a lot of people in these mountains. He was an entertainer, uh, not only because he loved to entertain and to dance, but he, he was a, quite a character, very, very much alive, even up when he was in his late 60s. Uh, he was the ball of the party. Uh, he, he influenced about all ages. As a matter of fact, three generations of my family danced for him or with him. And it's, it's, it's getting stronger all the time. It's still growing. Spread all over the United States now. And it's spreading into Europe and Latin America, too. For the style of mountain dancing preserved and popularized by Sam Queen and others like him, paved the way for today's dance groups from the Southern Appalachians to travel the world, sharing their heritage through music and dance. Sam Queen's dancers captured the first